Hey, this is Mrs. Joelle, and welcome to Art Club. Every second Thursday by 3 p.m., I will be posting videos of art projects for you to try at home. Hi, thanks for joining me for this month's virtual art club. Uh, we will be doing uh, winter landscapes this uh, month. I'm going to pretty simple materials and I'm going to show you how um, I gave you the uh, supplies list that you need. We are going to start with the blue piece of paper that I said to get. It doesn't have to be as large of a piece of paper as I have. You can just do a regular eight and a half by 11, but I did have the larger one, so I'm going to try it. Um, you are going to then need your... Um, bubble wrap. Mine is actually on the back of a package. I don't know if you've ever opened up any of those packages, but there's bubble wrap on the inside so you can use it that way or if you have any more for the holidays obviously um, coming in or laying around. Um, you're going to then take your, um, your brush and your white paint and you're going to just generously add your paint to your bubble wrap. You can use a different color if you wanted to. You didn't, don't have to use white, but it's supposed to be more of look like snow falling down because it is a winter landscape. So So once you get your bubble wrap cover, uh, covered, then you are going to, um, oh, I got a trip. You're actually going to um, flip it and lay it down flat like you're doing a uh, stamp. So you're going to do that. This is where this, you can't see what you're doing with the, you can see I got there. And then you're going to do it. If like you didn't, you might not have long of a piece of paper, so you want to do this again. I'm gonna do it over here too. You peel it up, and it looks like a snowstorm. So after you get that, you can let it dry a little, um, or you can just go ahead and get started. Just be careful. Um, kind of put it aside. I'm gonna put mine over here, and then you're going to start to cut mounds um, with your identical size um, of paper. And you're going to cut just a mound of snow. And you could just freehand it, you know. You don't have to do anything special, just a mound of snow, like I said. And then you are going to lay your mound of snow down. I'm going to overlap it. Um, and you don't actually need any glue because your um, paint will adhere to it. If you don't have enough paint on it though, you might want to add some glue to it then. Um, and like I'm going to do one little extra little corner here of snow coming. I don't think I had enough um, paint at the bottom here, so I'm like I said, you can add some glue to stick it down. And then more here, the bottom of my snow mounds, the top of my snow mount mounds seem to be okay. And do a little bit extra over here. There, so you get your mounds, um, and like I said, layer them gives it a little nicer effect. So that's what you should be 
kind of having. And then um, from there, you're going. We're going to start to add a couple other things. So this is where um, you're going to. I said you're going to need either um, newspaper print, um, or you can have some old book pages. Of course, I've got plenty of old book pages around here. Um, so you're going to take your newspaper or your book, old book pages, and you're going to just begin to make the basic um, triangular trees. which I make all different sizes. Make big ones, little ones, just cut a bunch out. So once you get um, <clears throat> plenty of uh, paper trees, like I said, you know, it depends on what size paper you want to, or you can do a bunch and maybe not even use them all. But you are going to then take, um, you could either use just your regular normal um, watercolor pad that you'd find like at the dollar store or that you might be have laying around your house. Um, I am going to just use some liquid watercolor because um, I have a lot of it hanging around. And then you're going to have to get your new paintbrush. And you're just going to um, color your trees. Have some plastic down or paper down on your ta table too. Um, so you don't have to worry about your mess. The watercolor, I think, gives it more of like a vintage look. Um, kind of an old look, especially with these an older paperback. If you used, um, the pages are kind of discolored. And so when they dry, they'll look a little different. Um, if you haven't heard... Um, we're going to be having the 12 days of cookies soon. Um, Mr. Tony's going to post those that everybody in the staff has given, uh, submitted a recipe to him and he's been making them or they've been making them. And so he'll have those and you can watch those and those will be delicious for you to make at home for the holidays. Um, also, and if you don't have any supplies to make those cookies, we've got our kitchen kits, which have, the tools for you to be able to cook with the kids in the kitchen or if you don't even the kids don't want to cook and you just need some tools you know adults can check them out too but ones with lots of cookie cutters we have donuts pizza whatever you can think of um, we have a few of those kits that can be checked out and returned um, but you know please feel free and call us for though about those for more information um, and then also we have a few other programs coming up construction zone coming up um, kids will be off in a couple weeks, even though they're not. Some of them are working from home, anyways. Um, but we'll have our Roblox night. You can join me on my server, private server, to play Roblox. I'll, if you want to sign up for that, I'll send you the information. All right. So you get all your trees done. You're going to have to let them dry. Um, you won't want to put them on there because you don't want them to bleed through. So let them dry and then. Um, I'll show you the rest. Okay, so once you let your trees dry, um, they might start to curl up. Not a big deal because we're just going to glue them on. You are going to start to add, um, if you have gold uh, marker or gold uh, paint pen, is probably best. I'm just using a gold marker. You can even just use black, but you're going to give it the tree look with your little center stick pieces. And you're going to do that to each one. I don't even think mine really looks too much like gold, even though it's supposed to be. All right, so once you get all of those done, you're going to start putting your trees onto your landscape. Your glue is probably, um, your glue, sorry, your paint has probably mostly dried. So you're going to want to um, use your glue. Um, you can use a liquid glue or you don't have to use a glue stick if you don't want it. It's whatever you have. And you're going to put some glue on the backs of your trees. And you're going to start to, you know, layer um, uh, your trees down 
wherever you can. I'm gonna kind of tuck this one behind the snowbank there. Maybe even start to layer the trees. Kind of down here. My purple that I got on my snow, it will dry clear, so it's not a big deal. And I'll put my big one right here. Looks like the biggest one in the forest. And I got one lonely one that we'll put over this one here. Let's see. Made a mess with my glue like a kid. And this one I will actually put right down here. Layer them again. All right. So now that's pretty much it for your uh, lands winter landscape scene. Um, looks pretty good and um, pretty simple with the supplies that you have at your house. Um, you can, you know, hang this up for the season, um, save it for next year even, or well, hang it up again. Um, but it looks really pretty. I would even, you could even add some um, light dusting of glitter to your snow after you use your bubble wrap to make your um, kind of snow blowing. Um, it looks pretty good though, but, um, I wanted to say thank you. Um, I hope everybody, um, is checking out videos. Please like, uh, comment and sh share your work that you do do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to get a hold of us. Um, again, you can make an appointment to come into the library for 30 minutes, or you can um, pick up anything curbside and along with our grab and go, uh, kits. Um, thank you. And I hope everybody has a great week.